pending at from barracks uh, reference from barracks agro and private limited so in uh, barracks we developed pheromone based ipm product to develop product and develop uh, product and for giving farmers for the uh, passive free product free foods and uh, otherwise for we can call it as pheromone based product so in uh, uh, i'm going to fix my uh, talks in uh, two tasks one is introductory tasks the other one is technical tasks technical tasks will carried out by our uh, colleague uh, mr veena so now i'm going to introduce our introductory talk about our ipm rnd based product and rnd uh, developments so in barracks rnd we have started our barracks agrosim uh, private limited for the past 5 uh, years so as per the rnd we have developed our uh, rnd uh, in the year 2014 we have completed the second year now we going for uh, entering into third year so in rnd we have developed 14 uh, different molecules to control different type of insects it is purely based on ipm product pheromone product so out of 14 pheromone molecules so we file pattern for 10 molecules after that we try to file pattern for our design pattern for our strap so out of 10 molecules so we commercialized four product especially on both horticulture and agriculture pest especially on coconut tea household pest house flies and dbm so, so now we are going to talk about our and activities still we have 15 scientists from various faculties from entomology agriculture based biology uh, analytical chemists synthetic chemists so uh, agri agri based uh, entomology um, from the product we can develop from different faculties so we, even we have the everyone else is single task so as far the this is only the joint hand product to complete our uh agriculture based product so this is our existing product so we right now we have seven product in market so as a uh, fruit fly trap vegetable fly trap uh, barrix yellow sticker blue green uh, yellow and blue barrix soul uh, uh, blue and yellow and barrix control so this is a pest uh, this is affecting in green house so as per the our product is going to control all type of sucking pest in white flies thrips and aphids these are major infected things in greenhouse not only they going to infest the plant it will carry the vectors it carry the viral disease from one plant to other so in barracks we develop four kind of product to control these type of insects especially on sticky traps so these are the entering points of pest in greenhouse so the entering point from seedlings soil application from organic manure even the conducive environment this is a close environment as per greenhouse polyvis contains a close environment is very prominent to multiply its offsprings so it is going to move through air some of the insects even the air they locomotory and they will go on stick on the particular system so because of conducive environment and the close system the percentage damage is too high when compared to other natural ecosystem so this is coming to ipm there are a lot of definition when coming to the ipm this simple ecological based strategy to control insects up to persistent level this simple definition ecological based control it coming under different factors cultural control mechanical control biological control chemical control so why should we practice go for ipm so what is the need why we are going for ipm so everybody knows chemical pesticide it give lot of side effects so at the same time insects develop resistance see most of the pesticide we going pumping the pesticide as scientists our recommendation is only 5 ml for spray we can that spray contain 40 liters of water we told that 5 ml to mix with the water our recommendation only 5 ml that farmers or users they cannot heard about the recommendations instead of 5 ml they will take 50 ml or 20 ml so what the reason the people think that we are using more pesticide to control this that's not case you are using more pesticide it will trigger the insect activity at the same time insect develop resistance normally the insect put 100x instead of using more pesticide it will give 200x 
At the same time, insect dollar resistant. So recently, we went to one field near uh, Davanikare, DBM field, cabbage, cauliflower field, that farmers are literally crying. Because they are using cocktail, not single per se, they are mixing cocktail, mixing together and spray the insecticide. Finally, the insect won't die. That particular spray, that farmer who will spray the chemical, they will faint. They will take him to hospital. So the insect develop resistance. At the same time, it will trigger the insect activity. So imagine that how much SUD present particular food. The scientists identified as more than 50, 500 species of insects, it develop resistance, minimum one or more pesticides. As far as the DBM is concerned, that's called diamond back moth, it infect almost cabbage, cauliflower, all cruciferous family, radish, spinach, uh, cucurbitus family. That particular insect they called as king of insects. Why? That particular insects, it develop resistant more than 15 kind of pyrethroid pesticides. Not single, 15 kind of pyrethroid so Even you can spray also that particular insect, they go and feed in the adaxial surface of cauliflower. Not abaxial, not upper surface, under surface. They are rich flyer. Even spray in particular field, then go to other field. After two to three days, due to degradation of the pesticide smell, again you come on infant. So this is a case, we developed some pheromone for the particular insects. We put our trap, we got very good response. So how does IPM works? There are so many parameters include IPM. IPM is not only single parameters. There are so many parameters to control IPM by means of mechanical approach, biological approach, chemical approach, cultural practices, GM plant, and resistant varieties. So as far as mechanical approach is concerned, you can go and pick up the larvae, whatever percent is not possible, it is a laborious process. So we can put our trap. We can put one or two traps in the territory. We can monitor the system, okay? Why you are unnecessarily applying pesticide to the field? It depends upon your population level. So we can put one or two traps in the particular system. For your grade, you can put one or two traps. We can see the pest population. So it is coming under ETA level. Already the natural will take care of the other things. There are a lot of parasites, predators present in the particular system. We need to go for any pesticide. So it above the ET level. So we can go and put our trap per acre, four or five traps. We can capture the insects. So that's called we can put a fruit fly traps. So next coming to biological approach. Biological approach is one of the very good phenomena to control the insects. So what are the drawbacks? So there are a lot of parasites and predators to control pests. Some of the plant it attract insect for oviposition. They're going to lay the eggs, food also. At the same time, this offense mechanism. The insect plant also gives some defense. There's this is equilibrium. The insect go and feed the particular plant. There is no plant in the world. So at the same time, the plant also gives some defense mechanism. That's called secondary metabolites. Some chemical. That chemical released by the particular insect, it will drive away the uh, uh, insect to other plant. Same time, it called one chemical called jasmonite. That's called one insect. They go and feed in the leaf. That particular plant will emit some chemical that's called jasmonite. That jas jasmonite compound, it attract parasite, predator to feed the pest. This is one part, that's called chiromone, one part. The other part, very important, widely used chemical called pheromone. It is worldwide used. Now our people also get awareness about our pheromone compounds. That's called three types of pheromone is there. One is aggregation pheromone, alarm pheromone, sex pheromone. Then we are considering only sex pheromone. So what is sex pheromone? So normally, the insect release some chemical. So we cannot smell the chemical, we cannot see the chemical because it can produce only nanogram level, not milligram, not kilogram, nanogram level. At the same time, it cannot produce all the time. Some insect will produce in midnight, some insect will die in rhythm, early morning. And so it is very from insect to insect. So what the scientists will do? We will identify the chemical. So for example, in, in, the, in the podium, one insect, female insect produce some chemical. That chemical, it travels up to two to two and a half kilometers. That's a highly volatile compound. Uh, the uniqueness of the trap is, this is scientifically designed uh, based on the insect behavior. Traps are UV resistant, water resistant, then that holes, uh, what the uh, insect entry holes are there, that from that uh, pheromone releases all the direction of the, all the direction it will release. 99% of purity we are maintaining with the lure. Um, 
and recommended for all the fruits vegetables like melons fru uh, cucumber uh, all the guards fru uh, snake guard ridge guard bitter guard all the guards because the, those are the major crops will get the fruit flies trap density we are recommending two traps in greenhouses smaller than 2500 meter square if wider the ma'am ye flowering se pehle nahi use kar sakte isko no no agar no agar insect hamare pehle aaye hue hain to pehle hi kyun nahi use kar sakte why what is the reason of using before once the incidence of the insects is they enter the field then only we have to use the insects will not get less than 1 meter low less than 1 meter we should for cabbage and all it is very less so we have to see the canopy level and we have to install the trap it depends on the vegetative growth of the plant trap density as i told you 5 to 6 traps for uh, greenhouse is enough one at the entrance one at the exit and two to three traps in the warmest place of the greenhouse sucking pest is a major problem we can see in the greenhouse um for sucking pest we have two products one is uh, sticky sheet uh, blue and yellow uh, blue is for thrips and leaf miners example yellow we can use for white flies and aphids sticky sheets we can use as both mo monitoring tool and uh, trapping tool initially we have to monitor how many insects is there in the polyoses because no no use of using uh, recommendation is like 35 to 40 sheets no use of using 40 sheets we have to monitor how many insects are there identify pest species we have to see whether the thrips and leaf miners are more or white flies and aphids are more so identify pest hot spots then timely detection of pests so on so many density of insect insect population is there that is act as a monitoring tool based on that population we can use as a trapping tool as we recommending 30 to 40 sheets per acre uh, these are all the few trials what we have conducted in uh, cotton nurseries polyoses in uh, rashi seeds tamil nadu we have conducted you can see the second photograph some white flies attraction uh one more product called rolls uh this is the extension of the sticky sheet it works as same sticky sheet only thing is it comes in a uh, 30 feet and 6 inches this we can use as territory to the polyos it acts as a physiological activator chelating agent some soil don't have the capacity to uptake of the uh, roots don't have the uptake of the nutrients so it acts as a chelating agent uh, for the crops Uh, it is uh, this uh, barracks control as done with the plant extract content is plant extract and some preservative food preservatives uh, so it can be used for uh, mlt restricted farmers will be there mlt level restricted Th uh, there also can be used this one after the summary uh, with the farmers who are regularly uh, come continuously using our products like uh, in 13 states with 2 lakh farmers uh, are using the products we got uh, report that 50% drop in pesticide usage and 15% increase in the yield and they got 20 to 50000 rupees per cycle they have uh, benefit with the 20 to 50000 per cycle and uh, barracks got few recognitions and certifications from uh, private and government organization organic certification we got these products can all organic farmers can be used this is npop standard according to npop standard these uh, products have been uh, approved all the four products fruit fly vegetable fly okay, magic sticker blue and yellow and recognitions we got from icr ihr nrdc toklai upasi with upasi we had a collaborative research with uh, uh, t trips